Hello, I'm Joseph with JTAC. I'm going to be going over how to take apart a transfer case and put them back together. First thing I'm going to do is uh, so flip it up and start taking the transfer case apart so we can get to the ring and pinion that's inside this transfer case. Put a bang, it's ready to go on top. And make sure when you put it back on that it's well lubricated. Now, this portion here is almost the exact same as a ring and pinion for your front or rear differential. So, this one on here is a little bit heavier. See? Yeah. We got the main link here, and we got our spotty gears and side gears right here. See, here's your side gears, and here's your spotty gears. Now we gotta get the pinion out. What's the pinion? It's right here, it's this big piece here. And you also got another lace right here for the other side with the carrier housing, which is the main housing that holds the side the side gears and the spider gears. What you might be able to do is get the dead below hammer out. Okay, so it's able to hammer it out. It's got this sleeve right here. It's called a crush sleeve. I don't really have much here right now, so just to explain how to do it, you would torque this down to a very high number, whatever the spec says it, and you put them in or all that or whatever your program is. And it will actually crush the sleeve to a specific depth. When you get when when it reaches that toy. So now that we have everything taken apart, we start putting them back together. Looks like there's still a de decent amount of uh, lube between the two of them, so I'm not going to worry too much about leaving that back up. So what I didn't get a chance to find here is I used a pry bar to hold the pinion gear forward, and this piece right here. I took a socket around there and I hit it in. And that seats the bearing in there. Now we put the seal back in.
We measure the backlash in there. Which I got some light on there. I got you. So when we get that, we spin the gear around into that paint, goes into the pinion as well, and then it'll wear down the paint, and depending on how it wears it down, whether it's too low on the gears, too high, or too far left or right, we'll determine on how much we have to make the adjustments on the gearing. Because if not, then it's going to wear unevenly and possibly break a lot easier. So, that is pretty much all that's left. You can't really see the rest. But that's it.